Good day, welcome to episode 11 of my 500 threat series with Empress Evil. I'm Iken, and I'm sure we're all gonna die today. Well, I'll keep saying that and nothing like that happens, but let's see, maybe I'm right today. It's just uh, a... It just doesn't get better here, okay? It just doesn't get better here. But so far, we're still holding out somehow. There's food everywhere, um, people are breaking down, we had a series of murders, we had all the good catastrophes during the last episode, so there's at least something happening here, I'd say. Apart from that, um, what can we do? I, I don't have any stones left to work with, so um, I should be bringing up some more stones. So one of the worst things happening so far was uh, us getting decimated about nothing so much. Like uh, Smelly murdering Zippy was uh, one, of, one of the um, lowest points of the colony so far, to put it into friendly words. A Shack of Fortune. Oh, we would get a low shield pack out of that. Ooh, neat. That's over there, isn't it? Yeah. Unknown threat. Yeah, well, okay. So. Come on, Smelly. You're not gonna do this like you want him. You're gonna do this like I want to. Also, I got to get rid of that cheetah tomorrow. There's a couple of giraffes over there. That's good. That's food. Okay, let's fast forward this and uh, get rid of that cheetah today. And somehow I need new people. Again, the uh, vicious circle of life here. Fetching up new people and trying it again and again. All right, a bunch of eight emus is attacking us. I think that's going to be quite easy, honestly. Due to my um, fortifications here, we shouldn't be um, having too much problems. Let's get over here. They are not even uh, attacking concentrated because they're still looking for the right way to uh, reach us. That's good. So, Smelly, you can uh, be the first here. Only the best for you, my friend. Alright. Well, let's see how things are going now. Everybody's missing so far? Okay, I gotta bring a bow to another uh, position to enable her shooting to. Alright, so I'm going to move Smelly away from there and Bo and K as well. want to make sure that uh, nobody gets uh, killed here unnecessarily. There we go. That's uh, why these traps are so valuable. So I need tons of Rhyolite, right? Okay, tons of Rhyolite it is. And a few scraps of limestone. So in a uh, in a way, I'm 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 killing my enemies with uh, with concentrated stones. Okay, now then, um, let's go for that wild cat. Oh yeah, that's good. The cheetah already uh, tanked so many shots that even if it would have went uh, into uh, revenge, it wouldn't have been any any problem whatsoever. Okay. Now then, please. Okay, guys. Um. Ah, yeah. K does never does never do hauling. How could I forget? Okay, whatever. They're gonna do this sooner or later. Um. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Cool. They're dumping. Uh. Oh yeah. They're dumping rotten corpses in there, even though they don't they're not allowed, I wanted to say, but they are, as a matter of fact. They are. Okay. 
I, I know that this uh, defense is not ideal to defend it, but at the same time, it's uh, effective enough. It's effective enough. Especially this fallback corridor back here is uh, really nifty to uh, funnel your enemies uh, further down the road here. Just notice that it's hard to hit enemies from this spot here. Sadly. Okay, mm, we gotta cremate some of those rotten corpses. Well, apart from some uh, funky problems here, it looks like everything is uh, kind of okay. It looks like. It's not, but it, at least it looks like, you know. So those Manhunters were um, the easiest uh, challenge so far here. Um, yeah, well... Let's put up a comms console next. I got the uh, necessary components to do so. And uh, having some sort of access to uh, traders could be good. Could be actually good. Okay, went into a daze. All manner of marvelous breakdowns. Awful bedroom. As if we hadn't uh, more pressing problems. Well, well. At least I can replenish a few of those traps. That's something. Well, it's not as bad as it looks like. But I know that there's only a uh, minor incident necessary to uh, push this place over the edge. They really don't need much to be killed. My friend Zippy died. You actually killed Sippy, if I remember it correctly. Smelly versus Sippy, yeah. So you're at least at least he's regretting what he did, I guess. At least something positive uh, to say about this person. So when's the next space battle gonna d go down? I need new components. Yo, Empress. Some express, del express delivery, please. But please not on top of my base. Thank you, darling. Okay, we're going to see where things uh, will go next. It's just checking out my uh, vicinity here. Scapolite. There's some components. Well... I was starting to mine out that stuff in a larger scale, I can remember. Well, as soon as Kay has snapped out of her um, problems here... Oh man, I can't. I just... Uh, there's uh, cheetahs down there and uh, it's not safe to go alone. That's all I can say. Those... Uh, yeah, there you got it. There you got it. I anticipated that move. You guys thought you could just uh, hunt me, hey? Yeah. Stupid cat. There we go. Let's do this with the other one, too. It's just, uh, cheetahs are so dangerous. Take him down before they do it with me. Apart from that, they're a really good source for uh, panthera fur and meat. Therefore, I really don't care too much about their constant attacks. There we go. Got already almost 200 units of panthera fur. Neat. So, what's up? Uh, Bring up a new set of clothing. Alright. 
Good thing that I didn't wait until uh, until K snapped out of it. Good thing. Welcome back among us, K. So at least uh, we can now uh, get phone calls in from people who want to sell us stuff. Also, friends, I don't like deteriorating components. Fetch them. Now that I think more closely about it, I don't know what I want with the uh, pemmican research here to begin with because I don't have any veggies and no veggies, no pemmican. I rather research uh, the hydroponics and afterwards the pemmican. I mean, I don't think that I'm going to be able to uh, build up my hydroponics, but you know, let's just uh, keep trying. More machinery. I'm really considering uh, relocating uh, these poor folks yet another time because uh, overall this would reset the uh, threat timer I could get back onto a uh, sunlit tile things you know just the good things um so smelly you go and haul whenever there's something uh, to do, uh, which isn't too nice to do. Smelly is on the job. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so Bo has to do it because Smelly is too lazy. Oh. Well, there goes the next days. Oh, man. It's really, uh, really tough these days. Having um, one of these guys in breakdown uh, most of the time is really annoying. At the same time, it's hard for me to bring up the resources to uh, bring them up some proper um, bedrooms or such. Because I can't grow any uh, cloth to make carpets out of. Um, you can't do uh, floors out of um, pelts. And floors out of stone not happening we need all our stone for traps as long as we're only three people that is so cheetah revenge not if you're having a bullet in your brain unfortunate isn't it all right So there's uh, six more spike traps necessary there. I could do a little bit out of limestone. There's some limestone uh, finished. But, well, not feeling it, you know. So how's my stone cutters table configured? They just cut everything I bring them. Okay, wonderful. So let's just use the chalk. Because chalk is really good um, for floorings. It's bad for buildings because it's too soft. But at the same time, I really like that stuff for um, for floorings. Okay. One new trap. Now, Bo, um, can you please do some useful things. I know cleaning is also making people happy and stuff, but uh, I don't know. Also, K, um, well, there's uh, gonna send her constructing before anything else. Okay, there's obviously nothing to construct with right now, so. And Bo is now a days too. Great. This place is freaking uncomfortable for everybody here. That's the big issue, you know. But at least I'm getting a few more of those traps done. And I guess Smelly should be snapping out of it soon. Like I called it.
at the exact moment it happened. All right. One more sad wanderer. So, I feel like hunting those giraffes, but I don't know why, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. Right now, the most important things to me seem to uh, bring up enough stones to replenish those traps as quick as possible, and then, let's see, build more traps afterwards, I guess. It's a little bit of a uh, vicious cycle here of mine, because um, those traps are um, built so slowly that my guys are really uh, wasting a lot of time just replenishing their defenses. Therefore, things are not getting done in time. Exotic goods trader from Kuea. Welcome, friends. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Who's my best social person? Again. Ah, none. <laughs> It's uh, this uh, wonderful situation. So, Bell. Let's see. Exotic goods, that's sometimes really good stuff. But uh, not if you're uh, almost having nothing for sale as I do here. So, well, I got a few elephant tusks. At least something. That enables me to build by myself two units of Glitter World medicine. And, uh,. That's that Indian elephant, lovely. Uh, wait, if I sell away that uh, gold, maybe? Yeah. All right, it's uh, it's not much, but at least it's something. Especially the Glid World meds um, are, for me, a pretty um, important thing. So we're going to mine away on that silver ore, because it's uh, a little bit annoying to have no money even if there is money right in front of us. There's another uh, silver meter ride. I knew there were a few. Alright. But I guess uh, our uh, visitors will be going beforehand. That's okay. I could force the uh, mining of that meter right now, but uh, not feeling it. Hey, there's my... There's my component delivery I was asking for. Thanks. Nice. Exactly what I needed. If I get lucky, uh, we're also getting some uh, new people here. That would refresh the colony. Ooh, that looks like uh, shredded giraffes. Oh yeah, they're all gonna die. Yum. So, good thing I didn't hunt them because we didn't need to. Um, Smelly, you're going to rescue Quinn, mainly because you're going to be, uh, well, I don't care if you get smashed. Ooh, that one was close. So up there is uh, another person we want to rescue. Wait a sec, I don't get, uh, come on. That's not true. We got plenty of space. All right. Oh man, there's so, so many people to rescue here. Awesome. Some of those people should be able to be rescued and join us. Okay. Wow, that's pretty spooky to see how such a big uh, shell explodes right in your face. So, Tiffy decided to leave. Oh, okay. Somebody carrying Tiffy? Yeah, so Bo, waste your, uh, stop wasting your time. Um, not able to do anything for Lyle. Death in three hours, I don't think I'm going to be able to save that person. So, tending to Quinn, oh, death in five hours. So that's definitely gonna be okay. Tiffy is self-tending, so I don't mind her. Okay. Jack, there's one person to be rescued. Yeah, that's because this one is not um, assigned to Tiffy anymore. Tiffy doesn't want to stay. 
Okay, there goes Jack. Any new person on the colony would be a big benefit for us. Quinn joins. Wonderful. So, uh, welcome to... We're all gonna die! I mean it. So, um, Quinn is also a good crafter. So, I got two of those now. That's good. Alright, so Tiffy is, uh, rescuing herself. And the space battle seems to be over already. Alright. Since somebody, uh, yeah, nobody patched up Neem. Oh, man. Not cool. Let's see. At least Jack is uh, going to be fine. Alright. Kay is having a tantrum. Smashing up random things. Okay. Gift from Quaya. They uh, gave me a few bowler hats. Okay, there's a Kuba Revenge. So, Neem and Jack are now surviving. Okay, nice. I'd say this is uh, probably the... Whoa, come on, Quinn. Final straw was depressive. Coming in here and trying to kill my people now. That's what I like to see. <laughs> you guys. Alright, Kay just demolished the power resources. Are you done uh, rioting at some point, man? Just asking. All right. Just happy we were able to stop Quinn from killing people here. So the heat strokes are an issue. An issue I can't really uh, change right now, except if I build a uh, a cooler in here. So, Quinn is no longer incapable of walking. Yeah, I'm going to install a cooler here. Because they're going to die if I don't, you know. And I got the uh, necessary materials, so... It's all gonna be fine. Starvation. Yeah, well, Quinn, I guess you're able to eat something. Alright, there we go. Because I think there should be uh, no problem with air conditioning in these two rooms. And I mean with that, they, they won't be unhappy if there's air conditioning, you know. We just gotta craft a lot more clothing, but at least I got the material for that. So that's uh, not gonna be a problem. So Jack and... Uh, Heat stroke is going away. Good. That's what I wanted to see. So Kay and Bo are hopefully feeding the prisoners. Um, the, you know, our guests. All right. So Quinn, what's up with you? You're a pretty good fighter. Okay. Not gonna waste any uh, melee weapons on you. Uh, ranged weapons. You're going to get that knife. Name is leaving. Okay. Goodbye. Plus one is good enough for me. Oh yeah, there's uh, one more thing. Those uh, yummy zebras. Is... Really want to have them back home. So everybody, one zebra, uh, one giraffe, please. Not zebras, sir. The giraffe is not a zebra. 
Jack joins. Welcome, Jack. So, let's see. You're a capable doctor. Good warden. A good cook. Oh, man. That's so good. Finally a cook for this place. Um, and you're an artist, so... Okay, why not? Bioengineer supplier. Bioengineering supplier. That's, uh... That's what I wanted to see. So, uh, Jack is, uh, passionate about social things, but he's bad at them. Okay, I see. Great. <laughs> another, another one of those people, you know. Jack is now, uh, catatonic. Okay. So, we're not gonna see anything from Jack for a while. <laughs> it's okay. By the time Jack's going to be back with us, I'm going to have uh, all the clothing he would he might need. It's good. All right, so Neem wants to leave us. Consider capturing her. Yeah. You see, I I don't really have. Uh, um. I don't really see myself in the position where I can, uh, people, where I can, uh, just, uh, say no to people. So, you're, uh, you're going to be recruited, Neem. Sorry to be not sorry about that. It's going to be the most helpful decision for, um, for us overall. Because right now, I'm in a good spot. I can do a lot of more turrets now. With, uh, with that new uh, stuff which fell from the sky, I can defend uh, another round, <laughs> basically. <laughs> basically, we're ready for another round. Isn't it easy to survive in 500 threat environments? Okay. I won't be saying that another time because it's not true. It's, uh, my whole uh, existence is only about survival anymore. This game feels now like a tower defense game, which I like. I love tower defense games. <laughs> Okay, so my um, next plan should be to uh, bring up air conditioning for this whole complex. Um, as usual, one uh, cooler, two rooms, it's my usual ratio, unless the rooms aren't too big. With extremely large rooms you would need more than that. So Quinn is also no good shot. Okay. Wait a sec, so I got two good fighters now? Yeah. Neem is also a good fighter. No, oh, well. Why not? Melee ain't bad. Melee ain't bad, really. Neem is now uh, berserking. Oh, come on. Not like this! Well. That's good. At least, uh, only a bullet into the foot. That's exactly, uh, perfect. Like a warning shot. Stop this. I like that. Um, alright, but, uh, I guess this woman is still ravenously hungry, right? Right. Feeding cheetah meat to Neem. Yeah. Dig in. They love the raw meat. Not. So, uh, I'm going to... Since my new cook went catatonic, I, uh, I need to, um, ask Smelly one more time. Cook it, baby, one more time. Okay, so... It's only a question of time until we got uh, Neem recruited. And it's also uh, also only a question of time until this episode has to end and uh, this time is now. So thank you so much for watching. I'm having a blast with this uh, series. I'm very surprised we didn't die again. But I mean, somehow, somehow I feel like uh, Empress is not as hard on 500 threat as uh, Randy is. But I understand why that comes together. Um, Empress only spawns negative events, and um, 
Well, there's a lot of negative events which don't uh, include you getting uh, overrun by enemies. There's also um droughts and space battles and uh, I, I don't know what. So there's a lot of things uh, happening apart from uh, getting attacked and therefore I think it's not as hard to survive that because Randy somehow has a uh, uh, has a due to his randomness he can fling three raids in rapid succession at you and uh, he doesn't even um, care about that. Empress has a uh, well a less random pacing with her events from my impression so far and uh, if I'm not mistaken we're already uh, like uh, 30 or 40 episodes in with that one here so I think I'm uh, able to say one or two things about the um, randomness of this storyteller anyways friends feel free to drop me a comment down below I'd love to hear from you you know that and leave a like leave a subscription on the channel if you wanna I'd be super happy I just hope we're going to see each other again for more in world though see you then bye bye